Hey, this is Scott Strong from The Training Farm, and today I'm gonna to show you how to create a halftone effect in Photoshop. We start with this image of a young guy in his costume, and what I wanna do first is I wanna pop the colors just a little bit to give it more of a comic book sort of feel. So I'm gonna to go to Image, Adjustments, Curves. I'm just gonna move my highlights control over just a little bit. You can see the blue is already starting to become a little bit more vibrant, and I'm just gonna drop my mid-tones just a little bit. I'll hit OK. Next what I want to do is I want to create sort of a line layer to make it look a little bit more like a drawn image. So I'm going to start by duplicating the background layer. On the background copy I'm going to change the name of that by double clicking on it. I'm going to change it to lines. Next what I'll do is I'll go to the filter, filter gallery and I'm gonna select the stamp filter. If I hit Command minus on my keyboard or Control minus on Windows, you can already see what sort of effect that's gonna give you. I'll hit OK. Now I have the lines layer. What I want that to do is to mix with the background layer. So what I'll do is I'll change the blending mode of it from normal over to multiply. Next what I'll do is I wanna create a half tone layer in here. So what I'll do is I'll again duplicate the background layer and this is going to be called halftone. Next what I'll do is I'll go to the filter, filter gallery, and I'll choose halftone pattern. I'll just zoom out a little bit and I want to get a large size with nice contrast. You can customize this to your own liking. I'll hit OK. And I have my halftone effect, so I want that to blend with the background as well. So I'm just gonna change the blending mode from normal to overlay. And if I zoom in, you can see that the halftone effect is already mixing with the background, giving us a nice comic book sort of look. And that's how you create a halftone effect in Photoshop.